We made our mark on nice. five. So this is our landing spot where we just touched down the snow. Been one of those days, buddy. Ocean traffic, helicopter 763, sure. Tell departing five, right traffic, Ocean. Alright, what are we doing? What are we setting up for? What do we want to do? Alright. Hawks Daily Flight Brief. We're gonna do S turns today. We've been doing some different videos on other rotations, doing them all kind of the, for, for the beginner, show you the things you're kind of gonna learn. And uh, we had next on the list, we had S turns. Because you're gonna go out and you're gonna learn straight ins and 180s and 90s and all these other different things. Something that's not in the PTS, and some, some instructors will teach you, some maybe not, is S-turns. And an S-turn would be simply, let's say, you're flying along real world and you can see outside, let's say that little square in front of us right now. We had to get in there, because we had an engine failure right now and everywhere else was trees but that square. Chris could enter an auto right here and do S-turns to get in that spot. Now we're not going to do that because there's horses out there in the field and we'd scare the, you know. It wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, so to give you an idea, that was a good example of just, you got an engine failure and there's a spot just off your nose, but you're afraid of overshooting it. You could do some S turns to get into that spot. So I'm gonna turn it over to Chris and let him set it up for you on how he would teach an S turn in the Cabri G2. Okay. Yeah, so you're right. I think this is more of a uh, advanced maneuver. Um, not necessarily something that I would show as a private student. You know, the private rating you're looking for mainly straight in or the 180. But when we start doing commercial work, start doing some commercial training, I will show a couple different options to the student on how they can get into a spot. You know, either extending the glide or delaying um, your forward airspeed or the S turns or maybe even a 360 turn just to lose altitude right above the spot. You just, you know, so yeah, we're gonna do an S turn here. Right now we're on the downwind for five, which let me call that. Goshen traffic, got the three chairs, on it right downwind, five, Goshen. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just at altitude here. We'll be at an altitude right now. We're cruising about 1600, we're at 80 knots. And again, uh, we were having this discussion earlier. I like to, uh, when I teach my autos, I like to have the person at- Traffic six three Romeo, departing the pattern to the east first. Um, I like to have the student be in cruise, uh, well, just cruise. Uh, you know, whatever altitude they want to be at, whether it's 500 AGL or 1,000 AGL, and then whatever their airspeed's going to be at, which in this aircraft, best range is 80. So uh, my thought process is, you know, let's set it up exactly how you would be going from point A to point B. You're going to be at 80 knots at 1,500 feet. Okay, so that's what we're going to be at to practice that simulator, to practice that, that, that auto. So... That's how I like to teach it, and that also teaches once, you know, that's kind of real world to me, is it trains the brain again, I've ta I've said that before, you know, it gets the students to realize, hey, you got to come aft psychic to slow down, you've got to, you know, why practice an auto at, when you have 2,000 feet to come down, if you're not really going to be flying at 2,000 feet AGL, you know, so, that's my thought. Thoughts? Well, we've, we've done good lately at trying to, you know, point out standard for training, but then give you some food for thought for the real world stuff. Right. Because again, I mean, the best I guess you can do is train for real world until the real world bad things happen. Right. So we come up with things that we can think of to give you food for thought. Put other thoughts in your mind. We understand training to a standard and we believe in it and we do it and we teach it. But we also want to try to give you some scenarios to make you think. Right. To give you options to think outside the box. Because if that engine really quits... You got to do whatever you got to do to try to make right. that spot, whatever whatever spot that may be, whether it's ahead of you or you're turning to go back to it or whatever. All right. Go to traffic capture three zero tolls about a one uh, one mile final five. All right, so here we are set up. We're at fifteen hundred. We're cruising eighty. Everything's looking good. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delay my entry. You can't really see. 
drive because it's a turf runway and it's covered with snow, but I've got my spot picked out, which we were we landed on it earlier, so we've got some marks down there now, kind of where the fence line starts there. And I'm just gonna delay that entry and then uh, we're gonna do a couple S turns to try to hit that spot. All right, here we go in two, one. Come to the right, got my scan going already. Good, coming back left. A little bit out of trim, get my airspeed going. Coming back to the right. Flare, throttle's coming back in. Oh, nice. Very nice. I don't. Hopefully, you can see that in the camera. Those, those land, the skids, the marks were in the snow, and he. I am about one. Departing runway two. I am less than a fuselage length away from where we sat down. Nice. Actually, it's right here. See him right outside my window here. So I'm very nice. I'm less than a fuselage away from where we landed earlier. Less than uh, where I wanted to touch down. So to give an example of that square we saw over there within that square of trees. You just would have made the spot. You'd have made it. So if that was a parking lot, uh, an opening, a vacant yard, whatever that spot was, you made it. You, if the engine failed, the spot was close. You did those turns and you put it in there. And it's you know, and and I was thinking that as I'm doing it, like for training, you know, we like to be out of that. We like to be out of that uh, that turn and kind of make it at the very end. You want to kind of like a straight end, but in real life, you may. You may actually have to start your flare while you're in that a little bit of a turn to line up with whatever to avoid trees, to avoid a fence line, to whatever. Um, you know, in training though, we like to we tell we tell them that we like to be out of the turn at least no no less than 200 feet, um, so that way we can be a straight in. But you know, in real life, you might be in that turn all the way down to 50 feet above the ground and then finally uh, straighten it out and flare. So and that's kind of what happened there. We were, you know, I kind of made that last minute turn and then we flared right there at the bottom. Yeah. That was nice. Perfect. I don't have a lot, more, a lot more to say other than if you haven't done those with your instructor yet, ask ask your instructor to yeah. do some S turns. Again, it's giving you some food for thought, another tool for your toolbox, something you could do if you ever really had that engine failure. Yeah, there's our spot again, so you can yeah. see it out the window. That's the spot we were talking about. Again, let's say we had to go in there because everything else was just forest. We could have made that spot. Let me make a call here. We got some. Go to traffic, Captain Three Chair Intelligence departed. Five, I've got the airplane in sight. No fact. So, go down below for a maneuver guide while I tell you about what's coming tomorrow. Oh, the next we're going to do is zero airspeed auto rotation. This is something, okay, it's not in the PTS, not something we teach on a normal basis, but a person could be hovering out of ground effect at whatever height, let's say 500 feet, doing photo work or whatever, at a hover. If the engine quits, you gotta know how to be able to transition into airspeed, pick your spot, and land. So that's coming up in the next video. So go down below to grab that free PDF of the Helicopter Maneuver Guide, brought to you by Helicopter Online Ground School. Like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you tomorrow for zero airspeed auto rotation. Peace. Yeah, that was a nice S-turn. I liked it. That came out really, it. really well.